Hello everyone, it's the last week of December. So starting next week, it will be New Year's resolution time. Lots of people will be filling our gyms around our town and uh, they will be hoping to do it better this year. Starting a workout program. Today we are gonna talk about a simple screening or a test and a very, very useful strategy to help avoid shoulder injuries. If you're in the gym already, or if you're about to start a program, this video is for you, please stick around. If you are planning on doing any overhead movements in the gym while holding a weight, this is the screen or test for you. You do this test by way of, so Dr. Moore has graciously um, allowed us to film him doing this test. You start by finding a wall. You put your hips against the wall. You put your upper back and shoulders against the wall. You put your head against the wall. You do this so you don't cheat, okay? Next, put your arms back against the wall, palms facing forward, okay? Take your arm and bring it straight against the wall all the way up to where your elbow is by your ear, okay? Perfect. See, Dr. Moore can get his elbow by his ear without too much strain. Passing test, arm back down, that's the abduction. The shoulder flexion test. Bring your arm straight out in front of you, thumb forward, and then try to touch your thumb back to the wall. Perfect. If you can get thumb back toward the wall, then you have passed the test. Okay, if you passed both of those tests, move on, proceed with the New Year's resolution. If you failed the test, if it was difficult to get your arm in those positions, I would suggest to you replace any overhead motions that you would do in the gym with the two following stretches we're about to show you. Number one, a door frame lat stretch. Okay, Dr. Moore is gonna show you how to do it. You grab all the way around the door frame where you feel like you've got a good grip. Put your butt back as far away from your hand as you possibly can. You wanna take your head and look through that kind of an opening that you make. So Dr. Moore has a straight line from his hand to the bottom of his rib cage. He is feeling a serious stretch, show him where you feel it, Dr. Moore, along his lat. If you get that freed up, we're gonna have a better overhead movement. Exercise number two, it's gonna be called a door frame pec stretch. Show him where your pecs are, Dr. Moore. Perfect, we gotta get those guys loosened up to get that freedom. So number one, put your hand and elbow along the door frame. You want that elbow to be at the same height as your shoulder joint, okay? You want to lean your chest parallel to the opening of the door straight in, okay? So when he leans in, I'll move this camera around. When he leans in, you're seeing that he is getting an opening of his chest, kind of a squeezing of shoulder blade toward the spine. Both of these exercises, you're gonna hold for five deep breaths. Take a huge breath in, Dr. Moore. Blow it out, that's one rep. If you do five deep breaths, both sides, three sets of both of those stretches, then you will help this shoulder as consistently as possible. So why in the world is it so important to pass a shoulder abduction, shoulder flexion screen before you do overhead pressing? Let's give you an example. If you're doing a military press, pressing a weight overhead, you got 20 pounds in your hand, you couldn't pass that screening test. It was way too difficult for you to get your elbow by your ear or thumb back against the wall. That same 20 pounds will feel like 50 pounds to your shoulder. If you're a novice at this exercising thing, if you're anywhere less than very advanced, 50 pounds is too much for your shoulder to lift. You will end up with those scary words like rotator cuff tear, biceps tendonitis, things like that. Let's say you were good. You were like, man, that applies to me. I'm gonna do these stretches for four weeks instead of the exercises, but you're not getting anywhere with the stretches. Don't give up, 
come see us. We will find and get rid of whatever's tight under here or whatever's pinching up here. That's how we'll get you better. If you don't and you decide, I'm going to just move on, forget that test. I'm sorry to say it, but you're going to end up in here anyway. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you know somebody who needs it, they're about to do that New Year's resolution thing, or you just think that you need to get the word out about how cool this video is, share it on your timeline. Share it on their timeline. If you got a question, please don't be afraid to ask. We'd love to hear it, love to respond to you. Leave it down below. This has been Dr. Ryan House with Cumberland Chiropractic and Sports Medicine, where we will get you better faster.